Greetings everyone and welcome to Total War Hammer 3 with me Kemzit. We're gonna be playing the Chaos Lords today even though I'm actually also playing some uh, Stronghold as well. I'll be getting there eventually as well with some missions um, and other uh, series as well but again it has been released so I thought why shouldn't I get on with this as soon as possible because it looks amazing and I am very eager to try try it out and before anyone wonders uh, I'm not offline I am online it's just that I don't know some kind of bug going on I guess I'm not sure hopefully they will fix it soon or my internet itself I uh, was also playing some uh, you know one of the uh, Britonian infections as well before um, alone just for some fun In the name of Magnus um, let us check the chaos dwarves now um, so the Chaos Dwarves, Industry and Hellforge, build outposts, factories and towers to create an interconnected industry economy needed for manufacturing and upgrading armies. A Tower of Tsar, claim seats of powers within the Tsar Nagrun's political battleground to gain powerful bonuses for your faction. Extensive unit roster that features heavily armored elite infantry and a uh, variety of monsters units and several powerful war machines. Uh, Mulling, Dark Sword and Merciless, Chaos Dwarves are known in legend as warriors, uh, warrior race of uh, demon smiths, craftsmen and brutal killers who have dominated the northern race reaches of Darklands for thousands of years. Long separated from their fading kin of the west, the Dawizar have given themselves over, the, uh, over to their dark master Ashut and allowed Chaos to work its twisted terrors on their minds and souls, transforming them into a calculating, cruel reflection of what they once were. They are deeply learned in sorcerous arts and obsessed with the controlled uh, control of hellish forces and fires of deep earth, combining dark lore with artisanship and skill for metal work and industry. Thus, the Chaos Dwarves have produced bewildering variety of strange and internal infernal um, war engines, demon-bound weapons and deadly tools of war, and their power grows still. So there's three lords and people we can choose of is Astrogoth Iron Hand and uh, the Disciples of Hashut. Or we can choose uh, um, well the other two, but let's just check. Astrogoth Iron Hand strikes out from Zorn Azul to subjugate the Dark Lands remaining rebel who shall toil for its his industry of war and conquest. His faction effects is conquest influence gain from all resources uh, and resources 10 percentage research and rate 10 percentage extra and control plus two all provinces lot of like passive ability mechanical overdrive uh, casualty replenishment rate and war saves 15 percent for bull center range units which is quite amazing. Um, they have quite a bit of goblins which they start with and also some centaurs and some um, chaos wars which is quite nice beginning as well. Then we have a Drenzoth, the Ash, the Legion of Asgoth, the Ash Lord of the Black Fortress, plots the long-awaited end of his bitter exile by a way of blood, fire and war domination. He also starts with quite a few um, goblins, which are, you know, the basic core of the uh, Chaos Wars, as, uh, as far as we have been told and shown. And they have quite a bit of oh, dwarves as well, and some monstrosities, these elemental lizards or something. Uh, but anyway, their faction effects are um, armaments cost 10% for all units capacity upgrades in Hellforge. Armaments output is 10% extra. Uh, Lord effect campaign movement range 10% extra, which is nice. Upkeep of the Kodai units, which is basically these uh, monstrosities. And passive ability dark renown. I don't know what it is. I think Apparently, it's a passive ability augment area, which gives a melee attack plus eight. Effective range is 35 meters. Okay, that's nice. Uh, Zatan Black. 
Zatan marches the warhouse of Zar into the eastern steppes, intent of carrying out more deeds of brutality in the wider world. Zatan Black, the warhouse of Zar. Now he also starts with quite a bit of goblins and some chaos dwarves, including some knife death shrieker rocket launcher, which is quite amazing. So I think I'm gonna go for this because honestly, I am already tempted to go for some more mechanical blasting. To also mention that I do like the looks of this guy compared to the other two. Um, the faction effects, maximum number of active convoys plus one, which is also amazing. Recruitment cost plus minus 50% uh, for artillery and war machines, which is quite amazing. Casualty is uh, captured post battles is plus 15, local recruitment capacity of plus formed by a local province and ability sadistic snare. Ooh, this seems to be interesting. So melee defense is minus 24 percentage. Okay, sure. Well, you know what? Let's just get going. I'm gonna be trying out this uh, guy, and it's everything on normal um, difficulty. Uh, Wonder Engineering and Sorcerer Great Bastion Grand Cathay has endured throughout the Dragon Empire reign, preserving his ancient civilization against the horrors of the north, yet it has not repelled every threat. For within the borders of his this great military power look infiltrators and pillagers from the distant lands, seeking to gain advantage from newfound footholds, there are those who wish to see this empire crumble so they may profit from the pieces, but from the limit the de demonic forces of chaos annihilation would suffice that's for sure and this artworks also looks very amazing by the way it's truly great so far I can see um, for some reason it is taking a bit of time but hold on this, yeah it's still on okay sure okay good by the way we can already also see what kind of units we have, especially seeing these flying units. And at center, it looks amazing too, by the way. Anyway, let's go. So, the weak shall toil for us, the rest shall die. Okay. Now, we are situation in, situated here in a stone sky. Foothills, we're next to the Ogre Kingdom. I think also we're in Leobai Cathay. Right? Okay, green skins, etc. Alright, alright, alright. Um, we better try to take that thing as well. We are gonna need to first go for technology with either military, sorcery, or industry. So, industry is quite nice. Labor gain from post battles, merchant incomes from trade. No, they're well, we're not gonna go for trade too much. Sorcery, how is it? Campaign line of sight for percent from uh, control all provinces. Not really important. How is the prov control going? Yeah, the control is fine. Um okay for laborers and health goblins military okay sure that's good call to war gale stores we we do have a few of these guys however um I think what I will do, I will make, strengthen my goblins first, and then we shall try to get some more labor quotes, quotas. Um, I think I will also uh, assign this guy here. Kuraki. Okay, Kesdor's economy is managed across several different resources, treasury, labor, raw materials, and armaments. Alright, okay. Building more mines, increase your potential raw materials output, but also increase your workload requirement for that province. Okay. Uh, raw materials are generated each turn from outpost mine building. If you have less labor than workload in a province, uh, in a province, your raw materials output here will scale down accordingly. Okay. Laborers is received after battles or via military convoys. Portion of laborers is lost each 
turn based on your control levels. Okay. Uh, when received, labor is split even evenly between all provinces that are accepting new intake. You can set province to accept new intake via the checkbox, which is good. All right. Um, labor accidents can instantly boost your treasury, conclave influence, or control at the cost of labor. Okay. Uh, buildings under construction will display the rush construction button. Rush construction allows you to instantly complete the construction at the cost of labor. The cons cost is skill based on the number of turns remaining. All right. How they play the warhouses are fight battles and gather necessary labor. Maximize uh, the efficiency of your industrial economy. In turn, boosting your military strength. Uh, spend anonymous in Hellforge to increase unit capacities and strength. Use Conclave influence to claim powerful se seats in the Tower of Tsar that can significantly strengthen your faction. Display military convoys to locations across the world and navigate a risk and route to benefit your industrial economy. Okay, sure. Well, at the moment. Mm. Yeah, we're fine, I guess. We can get some conclave influence. What is this? Labor economy? 100% it's working fine. Raw materials, ornaments, and conclave influence. Um, we'll check that later. Well, we can also increase the control. I would prefer to first get our things going forward, but anyway, um, what is this? What can we make here? I think we should certainly try to get some more um, dwarves in our land. Control can be increased, which is good. Campaign movement range uh, all armies in local provinces, which is good. Uh... I think I will still It is also good too. For world Anja. The next upgrade is gonna be costing me such different goods. Oh man. Well, this just cost me money. I can always try to get these go half goblins first and then we'll check the rest because we do need Dwarves. But anyway, let's just build this. We're gonna get some stronger forces. Afterwards, we're gonna see what we can get next. Conclave influence gained per turn. More money. Always good. You know what? Let's just upgrade this. And next. I want to stripe mine here actually. I want both these buildings and then we'll make this. We could also do it right now, by the way. Even though it's not necessary yet. Though, we can always be backstabbed by these ogre kingdoms. But I don't think they will do that right now. So let us just start going forward. We're gonna use our lord and fight our very first battle with this faction. I'm excited to see how they will fare. Let's go. So, again, as mentioned before, they have informed us that these uh, goblins are the basic units and require to go forward first. They will be basically our meat shields of our army, and then we will use the rest. And I'm kind of keen to see how these rockets will be. I'll try to fire it on those heavily armed dudes, weaken them, and kill this main dude with my guy. So, let's see how this shall be. All right, here we are. I think I can keep them here. What? Hmm. Wobby cool. Let's go like this. All right. Okay, we are ready. Where's the leader? He's there. All right. 
Okay, let's go. Uh, I don't need channel manage. Uh, magic. Let's go. Blast to blast. Slowbrain hundred tukta. Parast and the marzuta fastard. Braskas and wardle. Go, dudes, go. Kazun Kaz, Afro. Fall back. Oh, nice. Oh, blessed. Oh, these guys are great. All right, okay. I'm telling you, they're good. Oh, blast! I really need to get going. Oh man, they're being flanked hard. Guys, move! Why have I not fired yet? Come on. Let's see how does it damage you. Nice, they're running. Little cowards. Oh, that was a good hit. Very good. Okay, these guys are very good. Wait, where are you guys? Just returned. The bastards. Well, anyway, we are fine. Oh my god, come on boys, kill them. Alright, this is very good. Come on lords, kill them. Shoot these men down. Kill them. Nicely done. Finally, victory it took us a while. Damn it, man! We took also quite a bit of uh, casualties. It was a close victory, which is nice. And we saw how these units were working. We. Oh wow, well, we've only lost quite a few. It's just mostly these um, goblins which were fine, but holy damn. We can obviously see how powerful these rockets are, especially these blunderbuss guys as well. These chaos wars are quite strong too, same for the goblins actually. It's just that they are very um, sensitive. So it was a good idea that we researched the um, upgrade that we had within the military and then we can see how it will go further. We've been able to nearly kill four squads of the enemy. I think we have already slightly uh, beaten one of them. So let us see how this will fare. Alright, now.
now, what is this? Army replenishment is what we can do. Labor, I think I'm gonna go so, The more labors we have, the better we shall be, of course. Now, there we are. We have now 69. All I need to do is capture this place. Uh, uh, no, we're gonna encircle it first. Because... Uh, hit point. Yeah, we want to move faster first. Here. Right, let's go. Let us try to beat them. This time I'm gonna also try something else. Uh, since they're also selling forth, we're gonna try to get them towards, uh, come, let them come towards us. And I will try to use that singular um, rocket that we can fire because usually it was like a canister shot. You know, when the time with the uh, Napoleonic Wars we had canister shots useful against cavalry and multiple enemies, but then we're gonna just go for one round bullets to see what we can do because it is quite strong. Should be also demolition and dance of explosive. Yeah, that's good. We've placed our men here. Start now. Let's go. Wait, why can we not fire? Do we need to change? Oh no, we have not even started the battle. I thought we did, but whatever. Okay. Fire, come on. You know what? Fire over there. He didn't damage too much, what the hell? Fire, come on! Oh, blast they are taking heavy damage. Look at this. Oh, blast, that was good. Yeah, blessed. Come on, fire upon them. Go, 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 go. Doom's car Strange that their leader has not been coming here. Fire, fire, fire. Shoot, come on! Oh, 
yes! Get him out, get him out, get him out! Come on, come on, come on! Ooh, that was too close. Oh well. We did give them a little bit more casualties, so we should be fine. The entire army is getting damaged. Oh, look at this, look at this. Come on. Perfect. We're doing fine, we're doing fine. I'm actually gonna flank them again. Oh man, I've not even used this ability never, what the fuck. Oh god, of course. Fall back, bastard, fall back. Perfect, a victory has been won again. The only unit that we might have lost, uh, it, this was also a decisive victory, is the, um, you know, no, we haven't lost them, too bad. Um, but with such a few armies, we've literally won, and a special thanks to the artillery and those dudes, man, oh my god, they are great. I'm looking forward to have some more of these, actually. Let us hope that we can hire more. I actually want two within each army, perhaps. But then again, we have still not explored all the machines that we are going to get and that they have within their arsenal. But one thing is sure, these guys are very overpowered. Especially these dwar uh, Chaos Dwarfs too. They're literally just tanks. Zog, they're dead. The nation state. We can. Okay, when Kelsar's capture mining settlements, they, can, uh, they gain options to rebuild the settlement as one of the two different types of outposts or factories. The primary purpose of an output is to generate raw materials from mines. Labor is required in province in order to meet the workload requirement by them. Uh, the primary purpose of factory is to generate ornaments and treasure. You will need to maintain enough raw materials income to support these buildings. Uh, if you want to change your mind about which sentiment type you want later on, you can mouse over the primary building's chain to convert it. Doing so will revert the sentiment to tier 1 and will destroy all secondary buildings. Okay. Ooh. I think I want an outpost here. Or a factory. Mm. No, on a factory. Because we have a outpost here already, right? Yeah, there's an outpost and we need a factory now. Okay, sure. We have done this. An entire province has been taken. The stone, uh, stone sky foothills are now underneath our control. So what we're gonna do now is we can create strong units from this. Um, of course, this is at the cost of raw materials, etc., which is fine. What is this? Oh yeah, these are these. Well, I still want to check the Hellforge. 
Oké, okay, de Hellforge. Uh, armory. De Hellforge often, uh, offers the use of Forgecraft to improve your armies. Here, weapons, here weapons and armor are forged and modified to increase unit capacities and provide unit enchantments. Which is very nice. Uh, the army is where you increase the unit capacity. Here you can forge additional standard issues, uh, weapons and armor at the cost of armaments to support more units. Okay. A uh, unit capacity is shared between all units in a group. The number of displays how many of these units in an army can support. EA the group unit capacities. Okay. Alright. Increasing the unit capacity requires a forge additional weapons and armor for the armaments uh, cost specific here. Which increases with every use. Okay. Each time weapons and armors are forged in a, in a unit category, the associates bars fills up. Uh, to indicate the categories increased total capacities. Increased total capacity gradually unlocks the Forge Craft options in the Manufacturer ta tab. These are shown on the bar to Pardon me. Manufacturer becomes uh, accessible once you unlock the Forge Craft option in the Armor tab. Okay. Hmm. Well, for now we cannot do anything. And we can only have two of these. One of this and one of those. We can have two of these and one in fire glaives, which is quite amazing. There is also one of each, I guess, which is quite cool. And man, oh man, dead Quaker mortar, magma cannon, iron demon, and skull cracker. Man, these are great. And then we have the bull centaurs, of course, flying monsters, just the great Taurus and. Lamasu and a Bale, a Taurus, Fireborn, and Destroyer. We also have some Halcon, which is also good. Um, yeah, okay, sure. Well, anyway, we have seen it. I think. I think. It will give me 50 armaments. Yeah, it's a good investment. We're gonna need it. Anyway, with that said. I should probably try to recruit some units here. Um, we only have enough for one. I think actually, hold on. Let's have two of these because we're going to be Who's using the them as the good rats? meat shields. Uh, meat shields. Uh, anyway, we need some good casual replenishment. Then what we need is spread corruption or hinder replenishment. No. Actually, no, I'm going to use this. We're going to have some good magician on our side too. Now, with that said, commandment is available. Controller is possible. Chance of plague spreading. Okay. Um, labor population is low. Provision of stability is also low. Okay. I'm gonna do this one. Let us go. Anyway, um, I could hire another army, but uh, well, not now, but eventually. Anyway, let's just end the turn. We're gonna be going forward. We are close at Cathay, as I thought. We're gonna crush them for sure. And by the way, I am gonna be quickly. Uh, is it normal speed? No, it should go fast forward, right? Like, what is this? Here, finally. There we are. Now, quest issued. Uh, maintain a total amount of eight units of the following. The, okay, hobgoblins, etc. Well, we are g definitely gonna recruit some more hobgoblins, etc. But it's just that we are gonna need some new recruits too. Uh, sure. Now, what I can do is, yeah, influence. Leveled up already, damn. 
Looks getting... What is the Kindle the Flame? Uh... What is this? This is basically a defense. I still don't get this one. Hold on. Um, burn range, 120. Okay, right. Well, this is good as well. I really want this one. Okay, um, how many times do I have to assign four skill points? I just have to choose Kindle Fee. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that one to make people more weakened. Fireball should be done. Okay, sure. Uh, I'm the re Kazakh -monger. No, we don't have enough materials. We still are working. Okay, I'll just recruit a few more as it was advised for us to actually get another few units. So. Wait. Fahashut. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah, finally, now we have the hobgoblins. Good. Um. Here, we're gonna get these units, all right, and then we're gonna start attacking these guys. Meanwhile, we're just gonna continue on with replenishing these armies, and then we're gonna move on towards the Iron Storms, and we're gonna also continue on conquest that way, as it will be a wise idea of me, I think. Could have also tried to take Iron Storm, because they are easy target, in my opinion, but. It is also nice to crush an entire army which they created. Okay, the flesh greeters are done. Raj Arbu. Let us Rots. go. Nice. Okay, we need only two more units. Okay, I'm gonna quickly get... Should I go for Hobgoblin Archers? We can get armor? No, I think... I think... I'll just get these guys, yeah. Vanguard deployment, anti-infantry, etc. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's fine. Could buy more, but it's gonna cost me a lot. I just don't want to spend too much. You know what? I'll just get some more of these goblin laborers, and then we're gonna use them to attack these guys. Anyway, with that done... Hobgoblins can go away quicker, even though I don't really need that. I think we'd go for go for call to war so that we can get stronger units. And then I'm gonna go forward to attack Iron Storm. Now the scenario here looks still good though. And we are getting quite fine in my opinion with the first video and current series. And we still have our gonna be good once everything is what is Gordas Bucks Let us get him in for sure. Now we're gonna quickly go for Iron Storm, capture it. Alright, let us go. I wanna see how our unit's gonna perform now and my tactics. What I plan to do is I'm just I'm just gonna use all these dwarfs to go forward and especially these uh, sneaky gits go behind. Let us see and hope that we shall be fine. Yeah. 
Here we are. Where should we go? Missile horseman. Well, let's go like this. This there. Chaos Warriors. Where is the leader? I don't even see that leader, but okay. Alright. Um. Start deployment and start better. Let's go. Die, boys, die. Nice. Ah, oh, man. Swarming them down, boys. Swarming them down. Just like Skaven's over here. <laughs> go, go, go. Swarm them around. Come on, finish them off. Wait, how come you have not died? Nice, they have been hit from behind. Sneaky dudes, get over there. Nice, which is in the way. Oh, of course, they're attacking from behind. Perfect. The dogs are retreating. Get out of here. You know what? I'm gonna send them there. Let's go. Chase them down, boys. Oh, finally, victory! Took us a while. But that's good. We have swum them out. A decisive victory. Uh, how many casualties did we get? Even though it was quite a bit. Oh, not much. 219? Well, as they lost the double their amount, which was perfect. Uh, well, we had no other troops, troops we can train, which is fine. And since we have also upgraded their um, via the skill tree, they're a little bit stronger. So it was really fine. Besides, it's just a small sediment army. Uh, next time, we shall try to beat them as quickly as possible. Their leader is near, and he's just one singular unit. How foolish the AI can be sometimes. Oh man. I think maybe we could have also started differently. Maybe we could have tried to ask for more slave output so we can try to maybe increase the production, even though each settlement already says that my production is 100%. So. I don't think I can get more, but it's fine. We already got some more layers. Uh, 
Um, first thing I want is a outpost, of course. Here we are. Kind of want to just merge them together here. Kick him out. Because we have already too much of these guys. And I'll throw out one as well. Give the over Changas. There. Logistic and of course. Um there we go. Kindle flame. Is the Kazakh monger? Let's increase this too, of course. Good. Now we're near the enemy, but um I don't even have. I think we'll go for this one this time since we don't have it. And we're gonna need some more money income. Anyway, we're gonna call this a day of here. We're gonna be trying to take over Bloodwing Keep in the next turn. Um, kind of was tempted to get even more warlords within our land here. Uh, what is the campaign line of sight? Speed. Control. Well, again, I don't really need that much control, even though it is falling heavily. But it's fine, because the provisional stability will be gone soon. Labor population is quite a bit. You could also set an example. Uh, Get my conclave is also good. We just don't mo we shouldn't have too much labors. Okay. Raj Arbu. We will accept them. Surely. Anyway, um, we're gonna call this a day, so I hope you guys enjoyed this a beginning episode of our campaign with the Gales Dwarves. I already find them fun, and the War Hosts of Tsar is quite amazing, especially with their start with the units they have. Um, I guess I could have also done a little bit more differently and more quicker on trying to conquer these lands that are recruiting some troops. Perhaps, perhaps not. Um, I'm not sure, but again, it was very good. We still have conquered quite a few provinces. And again, it's the beginning of our entire campaign series. So we shall see how we will do further on. But for now, this is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like button and subscribe to my channel if you're new and you support it. Do you want to recommend something we're going to come together? That's possible as well. Just write down comments box below or join my Discord server so we can have a chat about it. Till then, I shall see you guys. Laters.